why is it jxl for inductor and negative jxc for capacitor let's take a purely inductive circuit let the voltage be v is equal to any magnitude angle 0 degree then the corresponding current will be any current angle negative 90 degree because the current lags voltage in the case of inductor now xl value is v by i or v angle 0 divided by i angle negative 90 and v by i when angle is taken from denominator to upside you get sign reversed that is positive 90 degree so it is always xl positive 90 degree now converting into the rectangular form root of a square plus b square is equal to xl and tan inverse b by a is equal to 90 degree or b by a is equal to tan 90 which is infinity or a is equal to 0 substituting a equal to 0 over here you get root of b square is equal to xl or b is equal to xl now the expansion a plus jb becomes simply 0 plus jxl or it is simply jxl in the case of inductor and for capacitor if v is equal to v angle 0 degree then the corresponding current is equal to some magnitude i angle positive 90 degree because current leads voltage in the case of capacitor now xc or the capacitive reactance is equal to v by i which is v angle 0 divided by i angle positive 90 degree taking the denominator to upside you get v by i angle negative 90 degree the sign is reversed so it is xc angle negative 90 degree converting into it to rectangular form you have root of a square plus b square is equal to xc or tan inverse b by a is equal to negative 90 degree b by a equal to tan negative 90 degree which is negative infinity that is a is equal to 0 and b has a negative value substituting over here you get root of b square is equal to xc or b is equal to negative xc now the format a plus jb which is 0 minus jxc or negative jxc so this is why always in a circuit if an inductor is there it is written plus j xl value and if a capacitor is there it is negative j xc value hope it's clear now stay tuned for more videos thank you